I have back issues. I have a herniated disc. I'm blind in one eye and deaf in one ear. Just because I've been kicked in the head too many times because I left it go on. Then it's the price I pay. Constantly got to live with because I wish someone would have opened my eyes sooner. He smacked me one time before we had kids and I was around 18. Um, he smacked me and then he walked away. They came back, he apologized. And I kind of was like, wow, you know, I don't know. I just was crying about it. Um, and I, I thought it would never happen again. So fast forward, we have five kids and um, I kind of was getting sick of the same old thing that we've been doing. And I felt like things should change, we're getting older. And he wasn't ready to change. And once I found a place and I started getting on my feet and I started seeing the light and seeing how I should be living, I believe he felt he was losing control and he, um, he hit me, he punched me, he threw my glasses and um, had me on the ground. He wouldn't let me move. And this was in front of the kids. And um, it just was, I was in shock by it all. Um, and I kind of felt like it was my fault, like I let it happen. Every beating I took, I always thought I was constant. If I moved the wrong way, if I sneezed, I would get beaten. It's like I had to live in fear. When you like someone, you put them on a pedestal, you know, you're like, oh, this, they're this type of person and they wouldn't do that. But once we got married, that's when the night, the, the nightmare became. If it was someone who I didn't have kids with, I felt like <clears throat> I would have broke up with them, probably never seen them again. But because we have kids, we had to be in a situation to be together. And um, yeah, I felt like I, it was my fault. But um, I got over that quickly. Once my family got there, he lied and he said, no, I didn't do anything. And I'm sitting there crying and I'll beat up. And he's like, no, I don't know what happened. Um, it, it turned really quickly, you know, to see that it wasn't my fault and finding out that he did have a history of doing that. You know, I was really naive in that relationship. Is how I looked at him. One was people tell me, look, this is not good. You need to get out. And I got tired of being beaten and stuff. And I decided, I'm like, I can't do this anymore and left. I got a lot of help from Wise Options at the YWCA. Um, they have so many resources and they helped me out so much. They personally went with me to the courtroom to get the PFA. They were there as a support system. They didn't push me to do anything, you know. They were really just with me and let me know that I'm not alone, you know, because I did feel kind of alone. My goal is to be an advocate for domestic violence and help people and prevent it, people going through what I went through. Because I know how strong I am. I know people think I'm strong. And to go through that, I had to say, you know, now that's a part of my story, you know, I have to say, I did go through this because I want to be able to help other people as well. So I have to admit to it. Um, and I was kind of ashamed at the time, but it's, it's amazing to see, and it's really sad, but it's amazing to see how many women around me have gone through that or something similar, whether it be um, a spouse or a parent or a sibling, that we all have this story. And the more we keep it in and we don't share it, the more we're just holding ourselves back.